Yo, yo, yo. What's good, Bass Drop Militia? It's your big homie, Bass Drop Keys, your frilling neighborhood, Negro. In today's video, we're doing another episode of our Cannabis Grow series. Today, I'm going to be giving you our second week update. This week has been filled with ups and downs. It started with downs and it ended on an up. Also, if you're a first time grower, you really need to watch this episode right here. I got some great information for you. Something that you may have not thought about. Let's go ahead and get into it. Let's do it. Hey, 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 hey. guys so the last time that we left it the plants wasn't doing that good man it's be so good i want to sing for you baby can i sing for you yeah all right so when i left you a week ago we had just transplanted them and i'll be honest with you they wasn't looking that well i was getting frustrated because i was trying everything that i could think of pH in the water, pH in the nutrients, pH in the runoff, is it wind burn? Everything that you can imagine, I thought to myself and research and tested and see what is going on with my plants, what is happening? All of a sudden, after I tried everything that you could try, I had an epiphany. A light bulb came up on top of my head. What's the common denominator with everything that I'm doing? And it was the pH tester itself. That's right, folks. For all my first time growers, this is something that you may not have thought about. Make sure that you calibrate your pH meter when you first get it. Inside of the meter itself, they give you packets of pH. You need to use distilled water. It's quite easy. You take it off, you take the cap off, turn it on, put it in the solution. Hold down the calibrate button for five seconds. It's gonna blink and it's gonna show you the right temperature if it's calibrating correctly. Once you do that all three times, you're good to go. So the week previous, when I'm feeding them and giving them water, I'm pHing it, and it turned out that I'm actually was 1.4 below where I needed to be. So when I'm thinking that I pH'd it at six, it's really more like 4.5, 4.6, which you guys know is too low. So my plants was nutrient deficient, nitrogen deficient, and that's where we was getting the yellowing of the leaves, terrible. The, the brown spots on the leaves, the, the dead leaves and everything. I just had a comment on the video that they actually thought that my plants were dead. I thought they were dying too, to be honest with you. But once I found that out and I calibrated my pH tester and I I found out that man everything was deficient you know what I did I'll tell you what I did I got me a one gallon bucket or one gallon pitcher and I put my cow mag my blue max a my blue max b my super thrive the full dosage that they put on the bottle I gave them a full dosage after I did that a day later, they were looking a lot, lot better. So after two days after that, I did it again. I fed them again with a full dose of the nutrients that's on the bottle. The full dose that they tell you to give on the bottle, you know, sometimes you might give half whenever you're first starting off because they were deficient. I gave them the whole thing. After two days, they're looking beautiful. They're looking way better than they ever did. They've grown tremendously. Now we're about to go to the point where we're about to actually do some topping and do some low stress training. So that's the big update for this week, guys. The main thing that happened this week was I really thought that they were dying. But after I calibrated my pH tester, the number I thought I was pH and everything too, it was really like 1.4, 1.5 under that. So I was really 4.5, 4.6 on everything. When I, you know, pH it to 6.5, I thought I was really around 5. So that was just terrible. But once I did that, 
and made those changes and gave them the nutrients as you can see they're bouncing back great on some of them here you can still see a little yellowing on the outside of some of the leaves but most of not all of these yellowing leaves and all kind of stuff going on just droopy you just you seen pictures earlier of you know them in really bad shape and look at them now they look great so the next thing that's coming up like i just said uh you're going to be seeing i'm going to be doing my first topping and my first lst low stress training thank you guys for that's been in the comment section you know suggesting different things i really appreciate it keep it coming if you guys are having the same kind of problem and you want to use all the nutrients that I'm using, I will put everything in the description box so that way you can use exactly what I'm using. I got everything from Amazon. If you guys want to follow my grow day to day, I do most of the posting on Instagram, so come follow me. I am Base Drop Keys on Instagram. I really appreciate all the love and all the support from everybody, guys. Thank you so much. As a first time cannabis grower, I think this is going pretty good. They're still alive and they seem to be actually, you know, actually, you know, growing well. So I just want to see how good I can make this and hopefully I don't mess it up. Before I get up out of here, the names that you see on the screen are my Patreon supporters. I could not do all the videos that I do on this channel and my Goodies for 20 channel without them. Thank you guys very much for everything. If you want to support me on Patreon, please come over. The main thing that you get for supporting me is you get access to all the videos early and some other things, but also you will see your name right here on the screen with all my other supporters. I appreciate all of you. Thank you so much. Until I see you guys the next time. Peace. I'm out, guys. Much love.